They don't wanna see me win. They don't wanna see me push the button when I'm spinning. They don't wanna see me living while they so offended. I don't understand it. They don't wanna see me spinning. They don't wanna see me written out the penthouse. Why they rather see me finished? Why they wanna see me? What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of My World. If this is your first time on my channel, I would like to invite you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest of video. Today, in this episode, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Puerto Rico and Nicaragua and the history that we have with each other. So, there was this one baseball player that name Roberto Clemente. He was born on August 18, 1934 in Carolina. Basically right which right I'm living or in around the area which right I'm living. He died December 31st, 1972. He was an outfielder for the Pittsburgh Pirate that had a batting average of 0.317. In his prime, he won the Most Valuable Player Award and also he won the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So Roberto Clemente, he played 18 seasons for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He took the Pirates two championships. He was the 11th man in baseball history to get 3,000 hits and like I said, a lifetime batting average of 0.317. Where I'm getting with this is I'm just telling you guys like where he's from in case none of you guys know what he used to do before all of this that I'm about to tell you guys. So the relationship this Caribbean player had with Nicaragua is like a big part of history between Nicaragua and Puerto Rico because on December 23rd, 1972, there was a massive earthquake that hit the capital of Nicaragua, you know what I'm saying, which is Managua. In that earthquake, there was 7,000 people that died and thousands of injuries. There were more than 250,000 people that was homeless at that time. Then same time, so Roberto Clemente had spent most of the November there in Nicaragua because he had like a little all-star tournament going down down there, you know, which consists of like 16 teams. And those teams, then Puerto Rico came out fifth place. Roberto Clemente had like a lot of friends down there. And most of those friends also was affected by the um, earthquake. So he had the chance was to help Nicaragua. This man, even though he, he had fame and fortune, he was, he was really hungry, you know what I'm saying? Because when the earthquake affected Nicaragua, this man went door to door soliciting donation and raised up to 150,000 in money and gather around 26 tons of food which he shipped overseas. He had things going overseas and he had things flying over there to Nicaragua was to help all these people then that was affected. Other than food, the man had clothes, he had medicine, he had everything was to aid the Nicaraguans then when this thing was going on. But back then also there was this corrupted government named Anastasio Somoza. So he was intercepting all the shipments that Roberto Clemente was shipping to Nicaragua. So when all of that was happening now, Roberto Clemente made it his own business. Instead of shipping the things that you know, he wanted to go to Nicaragua personally and deliver the products them that he was sending because he already knew the corrupted government was intercepting it. So he wanted to take it personally and make sure that he reached the people them that was in need of these products then. When all of that was happening you now, he decided was to take this plane DC-7, you know, it was like an older model. His wife have a little concern about the plane, you know, but the man like, his will to help people was stronger than his fear of death. Because the day that one of his friends was driving them there to the airport was for him to take off to Nicaragua to deliver the products. Like the wife was worried and she let him know so that, you know, it looked like the, the, the plane is holding. And the plane then time he was carrying like them they loaded with like four thousand pounds of stuff, right? Because he wanted to reach, he already had product shipping overseas, so he was taking the rest of stuff and the plane. 
And um, the wife was worried about that because, you know, it looked like the plane wasn't going to withstand all the weight. And he was like, you know, if it's time to die, then let it be what it is then, you know what I'm saying? But there is people that is in Nicaragua that need these things them and the government is intercepting it. So I just want to make sure that these things then reach the people that, he, that are in needs. You get me? So the man had no fear whatsoever, you know, it was whatever God will. So as soon as the plane take off, then try to turn around back, but then the plane crashed. Like they find two bodies that was like disfigured totally. Then search for like two weeks, days and night. They're in um, opinions for the body of Clemente and one of his friends, but they couldn't find the body whatsoever. They couldn't find the body. You know, what Roberto Clemente liked the most about Nicaragua is that it reminds him a lot about Puerto Rico and even me, I say that a lot also when I'm here in Puerto Rico because there is places here that I go and I'll be like them. This reminds me of some part of Managua or this, this neighborhood reminds me here of some part of Bluefields. So he had the attachment because he sees a lot in Nicaragua, the same thing that he seen in Puerto Rico before, all the progress that they made. Clemente had like such a big impact after his death that you know like the name like a bunch of schools, stadiums, hospitals and everything after him. Even in Nicaragua we have a stadium named after him there in one of the 12 departments which is Masaya, you know. And I'm gonna put the picture right here so you guys can see it. Um, we also have a monument of Roberto Clemente in one of our um, park here back here in Managua as well. I'm gonna put a picture here so you guys can see it as well. It's crazy because maybe a lot of people don't know that the, the impact that Puerto Rico have on Nicaragua. Me, growing up as a kid, I never visit Puerto Rico. I didn't know anything about the Puerto Ricans or anything like that. You get me? The only thing I knew about the Puerto Ricans basically was the reggaeton music. Because like, ever since I was growing up, I was listening to Daddy Yankee, Wisina Yandel, um, Nicky Jam. Tito El Bambino and all these other big artists so like Puerto Rico culture, the music and all of them things they have a big impact in Nicaragua believe it or not so other than the music and maybe like the food and things like that that we have in similarity this baseball player like he made a big impact as well by trying to help our country, my country, Nicaragua and in doing such thing, he lost his life, you know what I'm saying? Which he will forever be honored. So this was just like a piece of history that I wanted to give you guys about Nicaragua and Puerto Rico because I know probably there, there is a lot of Nicaraguans out here that probably don't know this history and maybe like some of the young Puerto Ricans also might not know this either, you know what I'm saying? But just know so that Nicaragua and Puerto Rico have like this bond that will never be broken because of this great person, because of this great public figure, you know what I'm saying, that despite everything that he had, he wanted to do so much more, he lost his life doing, doing that, you get me? So to pay respect, I just want to thank all the Puerto Ricans, them, you know, and Roberto Clemente for trying to do such thing for our people you need back in the days you get me and that was a little bit history for those who didn't know the little bit of background that Nicaragua and Puerto Rico have I hope you guys like this video man and don't forget to hit a thumbs up comment down below 
Let me know what you guys think if I miss anything. You guys are more than welcome to let me know. Please don't forget to go and like my Facebook page at nikaflow 505 and go and follow me on Instagram as well at akanikaflow505. Don't be afraid to link up your boy. Share this video man because you guys is what help this channel grow. To all my new subscribers, welcome and you don't know. See you. Life too fly to be stressing. Stressin'. Throw trouble away and take your blessing. Blessin'. Every day is a new lesson. Blessin'. I'm not perfect, but I am progressing. Always shoot my shot, they step up, then I fade away. Music like the only how to get me through the day. Drop a lot of hitters, I ain't knocking what you say.